This guy's battle with mental health. Clearly, he's explained it. The gym is literally saving the guy's life. And so if he wants to use PDs to help him, who cares? Coach Greg, and today's video is on Ross Dickerson, 1.4 million followers on Instagram. He only has 100,000 on YouTube, but he has not been posting very much. It's gonna be a natty or not. We're gonna find out if this dude's natural. Is it possible to get like this natty? We're gonna go into a lot of stuff that's going on about him. First things first, this dude is extremely good looking and he's getting under 5% body fat when he dies down. Okay, the dude is shredded. Go through his Instagram. You'll see picture after picture showing just how lean he is. Slead enough to walk on stage and probably win a competition. In fact, he has competed before and in fact won. Probably could go out there and get his pro card now if he so chose to do so. So if you look back to his older photos, the dude's always had an incredible physique, okay? He's clearly got amazing genetics. I always say it's down to the genetics, you know? To build a dream physique, even with PDs, it's difficult, extremely difficult. You need to have the genetics to allow you to get to that point. This guy has amazing genetics. So let's compare his bulk to ripped photo. It says bulk life versus shredded life. What do you prefer? Okay, well I'm looking at shredded and more shredded. Most people who bulk aren't looking like this guy with a full six pack and lean legs. Most guys who bulk don't have a tiny waist, a six pack and rip muscle everywhere, okay? Here's the difference between a guy that's still lean, leaner than 15%, so he's below even what you need to be healthy. He calls that bulky. Most people call that, you're in amazing shape and look amazing and we wish we could look like that and rip, he just peeled. Great genetics. And here's a before and after transformation. Six years from the age of 24 to the age of 30. This cook it saved my life and I haven't looked back since. 78 kilos in the before after and 96 kilos in the after, 18 kilos. So he put on 40 pounds, all of it was muscle and he's leaner in the after photo. You really think you're putting 40 plus pounds of muscle natural when you're already looking good in the first place? It's not like he was 16 years old and did a transformation. The guy's 24 years old, had already been training, already looked really good, and then put on 40 plus pounds of muscle. It's not natural. What's the next question I'm gonna get about him? Do you think Ross Dickerson lift weights? When a guy looks better and is more built than 99.99% of the world, and you say, is he natural? You may as well add in it, ah, do you think he works out? You think he trades? You may as well just say, is he like that soccer player who says he doesn't work out? Adame Teore, or Adame Taore, or Adamame Teore, or Adama Traore. Come on, people, use some common sense. He scrolled through his photos and every photo he's leaner than the last one. It's absolutely crazy. His back in particular is just shredded. The veins in his arms, the delt striations. This guy is leaner than most IFBB pros. It's incredible. If he was natural and died into this point, do you really think he would be keeping all that muscle and have that much muscle? No, it's not going to happen. You can't diet and maintain 5% body fat or less for that long and expect to have all kinds of muscle. It's just not gonna happen. He's got a photo, chasing the freak life. Cooking average body fat, 0%. Now obviously he's kidding, but it's getting close. He's probably four point something percent body fat. That's just how lean this guy is. It's shocking to see a guy that's this lean that isn't a professional bodybuilder because he's so lean, he looks like he's pro already. I'm looking up this guy and I'm like, how is this guy not a pro? Doesn't make sense, he probably could be one. If you still think, no, he's probably natural, he just has really good genetics as he said, and he built up that muscle over time with hard training. Well, look at this, before and after photo, 2018 to 2020. It says, shout out to everyone who is feeling down but never gives up. Okay, he's gone through some mental health issues. He stopped working out for a while and there's what he looked like. Do you really think a guy with that much muscle loses that many of their gains when they don't train for a while? 
No, and let's say they do. Let's say, oh no, he does. Maybe he was in a coma for six months. And yeah, sure, you would lose that much muscle. But not if you're just a regular guy and you stop working out for five months. But look at what happened in the after photo. 2018 to 2020, are you kidding me? You think that that's possible, natural? Oh, it's muscle memory. Muscle memory if you're on anabolics. Yeah, that's what happened and that's what happened right here. You doubt me, I'm right 99.7% of the time. Sure, is it possible? Of course it's possible. It's possible that this blue shirt is in fact a shirt worn by Papa Smurf. They were blue, this is a blue shirt. Maybe I'm Papa Smurf. That's possible. It is possible that I'm Papa Smurf. Just as possible as this is natural. And another before and after, one and a half years, just to further prove the point. Are you kidding me with this transformation? It is not natural. He's been battling mental health and the gym has actually helped him people. A lot of people think, oh, the gym is ruining things for you and that's all you do. A lot of people, the gym is saving them as it's done for him. So he shows the before, during and after the mental health issues, okay? So in the start, he's not in bad shape, he looks fine. In the second photo, he looks like a different person. He's huge, he's not as shredded, but he's huge. Then in the after, he's huge and shredded. People, this is not something you can attain natural. You need to be aware of this. And he's flexing the biceps, he's got a little pump. And he's moving over to vein. Have you seen anyone this lean before? This guy is mind blowing shredded. You think that looks natural? Are you kidding me? He probably doesn't work out either, right? He's probably natural, probably doesn't work out. Probably just vacuums a lot to get that pump in the arm. And I'm guessing this guy's a former gymnast. He has an incredible amount of balance, handstands, upside down push-ups, back flips and everything. You name it, this guy's got some athletic talent. You take a guy like this, who's also good looking, give him some PDs, and guess what? You got a gym shark athlete. That's right, the nail in the coffin proof, he's sponsored by gym shark. He must be not natural. It's not actually 100% proof. It just further pushes the point, people. And so that what really makes him stand out is how incredibly lean he's able to get. Most fitness models are lean, but not this lean. This is incredible. When you're this lean, you just can't help but to be noticed. But is this healthy? No, not many people can look like this. Very rare, even with PDs. So if you say, oh, he just takes PDs, this is why he looks like that. There's an extreme amount of dedication and suffering to get to this level. And yet another before and after, six and a half year transformation. And what I find more interesting than the amount of muscle is the comment. The funny thing is that people used to say I had no life because of the gym. What they didn't know is that it gave me one. Just think about that. People keep commenting, oh, I don't have time to the gym. You waste all this time in the gym. What life do you have? It's wasted on the gym. What if the gym is what's giving you a life and keeping you alive? Something that's fun and enjoyable, that you have passion for, that makes you want to live. This guy's battle with mental health. Clearly, he's explained it. The gym is literally saving the guy's life. And so if he wants to use PDs to help him, who cares? It's not like doctors start prescribing medication. Why don't they prescribe the gym? The gym is a prescription for many people. So he's been battling with mental issues for a while. He hadn't posted on YouTube in a while. He recently got back into posting, he made this video. It's titled, Coming Back From Losing My Mind. Well, that's a pretty clear descriptive title. So let's see what he says. What's up guys? It's been a while, almost two years since I've been on YouTube. I've actually been getting my shit together because I went through the wildest two years of my life. And yes, it wasn't easy and it is gonna be hard for me to talk about it. But I want to tell you guys what happened in my experience going through it. How I lost all my gains and got them back. Uh, because it was definitely the lowest part of my life. So you can see he went through a lot of mental health issues. He lost all his gains. He went natty. He stopped training. And he got them all back. Not natty. Obviously. Um, and it is always something hard to talk about mental health. But there's a ways to approach it. I don't want to approach it wrong because when I first came out of hospital, I spoke about it and I mean, I'm not even joking. 
I lost a lot of followers. So mental health, it's something that's very difficult to speak of. He came out, started talking about mental health problems. People lost interest and stopped subscribing. They unsubscribe. People don't want to hear a bunch of negative stuff. Not everyone likes negative, negative, negative. I don't care if you like negative or not. You need to hear it. I tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. He's telling what you need to hear. Yeah, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear about mental health. You don't want to hear that it can affect you. But it can. And it affects many people. And it's something you need to be aware of. I figured out what happens is if it's a low part of your life, a depressing part of your life, if you're talking about it too much, especially on a daily basis, you know, people want to hear about it, but then it starts to rub off on them. So there's ways to approach it and things like that. You want to bring a positive vibe to something negative. It could be like a shit sandwich. You say something good. A little bit bad in there and then end it with something good. It's covered up by the bread. The shit, the bad part is covered in positivity. So yeah, you can explain something that's negative, but you can give them hope. You can teach them what to do. And that's what I'm going to try and do in these series of videos. But yes, I'm also going to bring you workout videos back to life, my wild style and things like that. So guys, stay tuned. I'm going to go and train now and get back to my wild self. Let's go. So you don't want to just talk about what it's all bad. Mental health is not fun. It's not good. But look, this guy, he's still enjoying his life. He's still having a good time. He has a great physique. He's enjoying the gym again. He's showing you the workouts. So just because he's having mental health issues doesn't mean every single day and every single minute of his life is miserable. There's a lot of good that's sandwiched in the bad. It's like a shit sandwich. Even if your day is bad, there's things in your day that are good. Focus on the good. Try to improve the bad. But don't think it's all bad. There's things that are good. Think about it. You woke up this morning. That's good. You woke up. You're alive. Sure, there might be some bad things that happen. You might lose your job. You might lose something. But it's not all bad. And it's going to get better. See all these bugs on my screen? That is from when I went on my holiday this year. Because obviously we know Corona killed the, killed the holiday vibes. A lot of people have been depressed because of the cold. That's right, the cold has been ruining things for a lot of people. But there's still positivity. Good things can happen. For example, check this out. You could be feeding little kittens. See the little kittens? Who doesn't like a little kitten? Everybody loves a little kitten. You can come home and you could feed a kitten. And if you can't feed a kitten yourself, you can go on YouTube and watch Ali feed a kitten. See, good things. You never know, something fun might happen. Somebody might moon you and split the cheeks. You might get a little show of the rectum, perhaps. You never know, something good could happen. Or bad, depends if you like bum holes or not. Right, babe? That's a hard pass for me. Allie doesn't like bum holes a whole lot. Although she's feeding animals and wiping their bums all day long, so I beg to differ. It makes your metabolism just be if you drink cold water, then your body has to get into room temperature. He's even giving out some good scientific information. If you drink cold water, body has to heat that up, and that burns calories. So even while watching a five-minute video from him on YouTube, you can still learn from him. So you can use this guy as a source of motivation. He's gone through a lot of mental struggles. And to be healthy, it's not about being just physically healthy. I mean, look at this guy. He looks incredible. He looks ridiculous. He's shredded, super huge muscles. He's peeled but he wasn't doing good mentally. So just because you have a great physique doesn't mean you're healthy. He seems to be overcoming the mental health issues. He's happy with his physique. He loves training. It's motivation for him. And it's frankly saving his life. The gym is saving him. We're gonna end the video here. GregDoucette.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IB Pro. Be sure to watch one of those videos. Instagram, Strava, my website, GregDoucette.com. Hire me, buy a cookbook, training book. And until next time, I am out. Everybody loves a little You can come home. You can go on YouTube and watch Allie feed a kitten. Mm -hmm.